it's a difficult video to watch, but the victim says Papua New Guinea can't afford to look away. It's just unacceptable. Debbie Kare's partner at the time burnt her with an iron before hitting her in the head with it. I'm feeling better, but you know, a bit traumatised from what has happened. The fact is that I almost lost my life in front of my kids. A well-known athlete, Debbie Kare has represented her country in boxing and rugby. The captain, Kaori, leading the charge. In the past, she's used her profile to speak out against gender inequality in PNG and run boxing classes for disadvantaged women. It's estimated two-thirds of women in PNG experience family violence and the government is being urged to do more to address the crisis. We need that high level kind of intervention so that um, and support so that we have funding support, we have resource support. Another athlete shared the story of Debbie Kare's assault online with her permission and the hashtag Justice for Debbie. She represents so many women um, that in our society that are going through. Uh, some, many have lost their lives, many are still facing this. The PNG Olympic Committee has condemned the brutal attack, urging people to speak out, and the country's Rugby Association condemned all forms of domestic violence against women and children. In a statement, the Prime Minister urged men to respect women, saying talk away or walk away from problems in marriage instead of fighting. But some in the community are defending what they say is a man's right to discipline his wife. Debbie Carre thinks generational change is needed. I can only hope that mothers can, and mothers and fathers can, you know, educate their sons. Her assailant has now been detained and charged. And as she recovers, Debbie Carre says she just wants peace. Natalie Whiting, ABC News.